morning guys, good evening, and good afternoon to viewers from all walks of life. This is Desmos, and you are welcome to the channel of truth, enlightenment, freedom, and the channel of breaking members free. If you are new, on this channel I talk about narcissism and narcissistic abuse, I talk about spirituality, and I talk about personal and self-development. And if any of that resonates with you, I invite you guys to join us. Give us a like, share this video with your friends, and you may subscribe if you haven't already. And for those that have always been with us, you are welcome back, and I thank you for your love and support. So we're going to talk about gangs talking today. Now, I would like you guys to listen attentively to this video. So, I woke up around two and a half years ago, and in those days, um, I started uh, uh, accelerating my my evolution. Started accelerate, so I started working on myself, you know, the spiritual thing and everything. So I went to I went to I went a little deep uh, deeper into spirituality. And then, in those days, I used to go to there's a park I used to like to go. Well, I still go to that park until today. But in those days, it was like a, a frequent thing. It's like, it's like I would almost attend that park like every morning and evening because I was going through a very long session of detox. So I used to go to that park in those days. And then, all of a sudden, there was this lady. In the first case, in the first times, I didn't actually notice this person was actually stalking me. I, did, I didn't pay close attention to this particular person, you know. So in those first days, I could have missed it, missed it in the beginning. But later on, that particular person, I noticed that for some reason, in some particular place, I would just come out of it, uh, all of a sudden, I show up in the park, and in that area, that same lady was also in the same place, in the same vicinity. Now, this thing went on for about a couple of weeks, could be two or three weeks or something like that. It went on for a couple of weeks, and then um, then I was like, actually, I noticed that woman is, it's all of a sudden, it's she appears out of nowhere, you know what I mean? So it's like, anytime I go to the park, she just happens to be at some at some particular point and we just happen to cross each other's paths. And I was thinking, is this a coincidence? It happened the second time, it happened the third time, it happened the fourth time. Then I was like, okay, so now I'm going to switch uh, the times. We are going to see if really my intuition, my, so my intuition led me to switch the times. You know what I mean? So I used to go like, for example, in the mornings, seven or eight sometimes, sometimes I was going at six. So I said, I'm going to go at 10. So I switched my time to 10. Sometime I went. I, I even went out till, uh, at eleven. And behold, that same person. No matter what time I was switching, sometimes even I remember switching my time until one o'clock in the in the afternoon, two two o'clock in two p.m. That particular individual was there. That's when I know I noticed that actually that particular individual had been stalking me for a very very long time, even sometimes without me knowing it. Now, what happens with you guys, chosen ones? There is something I want to let you know in this video is that you are targeted individuals. You know what I mean? So you are targeted. You are highly targeted. The reason is that because um, you guys are here to bring a very huge difference in this planet, to bring a, to make a very huge impact and to change a lot of individuals, uh, to raise the frequency of this planet, to help a lot of individuals. So you are you are the lights in this universe. You are the, you are the lights on, the, on this planet. And a lot of forces around here, they don't like that kind of light. So they want the people to stay where they've always been, to stay in control, to, to stay under the, under control, to stay in, the, in their sleep mode, the sleep state that they've always been. And that's why you see a lot, of, a lot of times, a lot of people, they still live in fear. So, but you see the chosen ones, what happens is that you guys wake up. So you wake up, you get to that knowledge of self, you understand really who you are, and now you understand that you're a person of light, and you get out of the darkness. So usually what the chosen ones do, they get out of the matrix. Because finally the chosen ones realize that uh, this whole thing has been around them, the things they've been used to, the things they've been seeing, everything has been a complete uh, a joke, everything has been a complete lie. So they're looking around them and they're seeing that actually there's a lot of things they don't know about the planet, about the universe, about the people around them. So they're waking up and getting out of that illusion. So normally when I, what, what I did as well, the first thing I did when I woke up, the first thing I did was quit my job because I noticed that actually that job was even holding me back. You know what I mean? It was making me feel very bad about myself. Every time I used to go to work, I used to feel that I was, I used to notice that I was feeling very, very bad about myself. So that's the first thing I left. I left my job on top of leaving my, uh, my, uh, my ex uh, narcissist partner. So you start, you start getting out of the illusion, but you see, the problem is that, uh, the matrix wants you in that mode whereby you're asleep and you're, you can't be controlled. It's very easy for you to, for them to control you. 
uh, do whatever it is they want to you. You know what I mean? So again, when I'm talking about the metrics, this can be sometimes even it can it can go as deep as your own parents. So when you wake up, you're going to notice your own parents. They are not those guys exactly that you thought they were. You know, so your own parents are going to wake up to the fact that most of them they have, been, they have even been most of the cases the problem. For as long as you've, you've been alive, they have been a part of the problem. So you start separating yourself out of these kind of illusions. You start getting yourself out of the matrix and you start to uh, stand by yourself as a free being. So because finally you realize you are a spiritual being and you are a free being and you have the right to your own freedom and nobody can ever take that right from you. So when you awaken, you come to that knowledge of, and you come to that understanding that uh, you can always do whatever you want, whatever it is you came here to do as a free being. And nobody's supposed to dictate your life path and whatever it is you're supposed to do. So a lot of people, they start to get out of the matrix, they start to do their own thing, start to create their own project platforms, their own projects, their own designer clothes and things like that. So they start to do one or two or three things with themselves. Now, what happens is that chosen ones, when you start to make those kind of moves, um, that is when exactly this kind of stalking and thing, these gang stalkers are going to uh, step up their game. You know what I mean? They have always been uh, a part of the problem, even, even without you noticing. Those guys, they've always been around. But it's just because you were not aware of those people and whatever it is they were doing around you. So you were not aware of these patterns. But now that you're awake, those kind of patterns and those kind of people they are going to step up the game. So it is going to become very obvious and now this time you are going to be able to see them completely in, the, in broad daylight. You are going to see them getting exposed. Because you see, a chosen one, you are wearing spiritual glasses and you can look through the metrics. So you can look through the, you can look through everything. You can look through illusion. So the chosen one, it doesn't happen that there is things that are going to come, come across your way and you are not going to be aware of them. So, so many things you are going to be aware of them. Everything that crosses your path whether it is people, places, animals, insects, pets, everything, you will, you will be aware of everything that is in front of you and you'll be able to decipher what is going on around your circumstances because you understand now how the universe operates. So the gang stalkers now, what happens is that they start to target the chosen ones. So this, this is why it becomes very intensive, you know what I mean? So you're going to find them in your workplaces, you're going to find them in your, in your own families, you're going to find your own families your brothers, your sisters, they are stalking you, you know what I mean? So they're trying to find out what is this person doing, you know, because remember when you're waking up, guys, you're starting to make very, very big moves. And these kind of things, people have not been used to you in that way. So they have been used to you in a, in a way whereby, you know, they would just be, be around there, see you doing what everybody is doing, things, things like that. But now many people, they understand that you're waking up. You are awakened. And the moves that you're starting to make, the language you're starting to speak, the way you're starting to behave is going to change. Everything is going to start changing and a lot of people around you, it is what is going to make them like, you know, they, 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 they will stop understanding you. They will, they will stop uh, resonating with you. A lot of your energy is going to confuse a lot of people. So what happens is that now what they do, they start watching you from a distance. But when it comes to gang stalking, gang stalking is done by monitoring spirits. So the last time I did a video about those spirits, I said that those guys, they will be moving around. They will be going up and down because when you chose one, you become a very, very big threat. Because remember, chosen ones, we are the guys here. We, get, we are the guys who are here to bring the light to this planet. So we're here to bring light and to enlighten a lot of individuals and to wake up as many people as we can. So that's why you see a lot of guys, a lot of us, when we come around and we share our materials and our, our wisdom and our content and things like that. So a lot of people start getting enlightened. A lot of people start to wake up from the deep sleep. I mean, like some of them wake up from the deep illusion. So we all we always um, bring a lot of light in this world, and there's a lot of forces, uh, those dark forces behind there, you know, those entities. They don't want this kind of knowledge to get out, so they do whatever it takes to make sure that um, they try to monitor. So they want to see whatever it is you're doing. So now, in in the last year, I think that was last year in the in the beginning of last year. I did a video and I said that the chosen ones, you guys. The very moment you awaken, you're going to become a very highly targeted individual. Because remember, guys, when you're waking up, you're starting to see those things that we're not supposed to see. You know what I mean? So because now at that point, um, you're wearing the spiritual glasses. So eventually now you can see whatever it is they were hiding from you. You know what I mean? You guys have always heard me talking about looking beyond the veil. You know what I mean? So you are, you're waking up and you're looking beyond the veil. And most of the cases now, it is the only chance you've got after waking up that you're able to see everything that has ever been hidden from you. 
everything is going to be cut, everything is going to be put to light everything is going to be exposed so people are getting exposed when you're waking up people are getting exposed your brothers are getting exposed your sisters are getting exposed your employers are getting exposed because remember you can never fool and you can never play with an awakened individual those guys they are they are highly intelligent and they know what they are doing and they know what they can see so they can decipher all the lies and everything so you become a very highly targeted individual but you was always as a person of light you have always been targeted ever since you was a kid but now that you're waking up you become a double threat because now you can completely you, you have it's like you've stripped all the curtains and you can completely look behind the veil and nobody can hide nobody can ever hide in your presence so that's what makes it a very big problem because now those guys those those entities whatever the entities have been following you all along and have been trying to put you to sleep so those entities now they are going to double up their game so that's where i'm going to see the stalking is going to become very obvious you are going to see a lot of people following you you know what i mean so there will be people and those individuals again i have to say this that those individuals they do not know that they are possessed so a lot of the individuals who are, who are doing the gang stalking they are following you maybe sometimes they're checking on your social media this and this and that they're just they're just vessels they do not know exactly what is going on but they're just vessels so those individuals what will happen is that as a chosen one you will see them now they are going to start exposing themselves you'll go out of the house you see them following you sometimes they, they may follow you in the car sometimes you may see individuals that you, you cannot recognize you don't understand you will see them behind your back so they are going to be moving up and down following you they are just trying because that is a, because remember guys when you're chosen those individuals they already know who you are so they know what you're here to do actually they have, they have even known this since you are, since you have been born since you have been a kid because you are born with the mark the chosen ones you are born with the mark and that mark is identified by these dark entities so when they see that mark what they do they now start to use the people around you because remember these entities they need vessels to operate so what they do they start to use the people around you most of the most of the cases you guys have seen cases whereby your own parents have been targeting you since you was a kid your sisters have been targeting you for nothing you know there was there were so many times where I, was, where I was always being blamed for things things that i've not even done i had nothing to do with you know what i mean and all of a sudden i'll find myself i'm being blamed and sometimes i would sit by myself and i'm thinking why why is it that uh, when things are going wrong around here is i'm the first guy to be you know they're, they're the first uh, i'm the first people person to be targeted whatever something is going on in community and that thing actually even followed me in the schools so for the most of you guys chosen ones you have always been a target ever since you've been a kid so the, those guys those stalkers have been following you using your own parents they've been monitoring you what you're doing sometimes your father will come around they will try to see what you're doing maybe you're, you're doing a certain painting what are you painting you know they're trying to see what you're doing they are, they are trying to follow you whatever it is they're trying to even the, your own parents they're stalking you on social media so you're going to see a lot of these gang stalking happening everywhere and that is because those those guys those those entities they're much afraid of the chosen ones they know those guys they have a lot of power you know what i mean those individuals have got a lot of power and they know that whatever it is they want to do they cannot operate as long as the chosen one all those those particular individuals that are awakened and they know what is going on those individuals cannot operate whatever it is they want to do they're going to be they're going to be caught before they start even so a lot of people are starting to get caught eventually because the guys are waking up the chosen ones are waking up god's chosen people are waking up so they start to look through everything so the gang stalkers normally they don't usually they don't like target you physically you know what i mean so they always like um try to follow you and try to make some kind of blockages so they will see what do they need to do to block your path you know what i mean so for me in my case when i woke up when i got my awakening those entities they sent the the greater narcissist you know what i mean so in those days you of course i was still learning about myself just trying to understand what was going on it was just a couple of weeks and out of nowhere the greater narcissist just showed up all of a sudden i think that that was about like a month later so the greater narcissist just showed up all of a sudden out, out of nowhere so you guys have been wondering where the narcissists are coming from those narcissists they have already been uh, they've they already been sent those narcissists and those kind of individuals those vessels because i've always told you guys this this thing is spiritual it's a spiritual warfare so those individuals they are sent they will be sent your way whether you guys are online whether you're walking in the supermarket in the street they are going to be sent your way and for some reason you're going to end up with the narcissist for some reason it, it will not make a lot of sense but you're going to find out later on that you've actually ended up with a very very dangerous toxic individual so for me in my case when i woke up they sent the the greater narcissist only to find out that actually I was dealing with the devil himself so i was just in front of the devil even without knowing it 
So before I knew it, I knew that that person, that, that particular person, is one of the incidents I'll never forget. So that particular person was extremely dangerous. You know, I found out all these things later because that great analysis was attacking me spiritually. You know what I mean? Whenever I was with that person, I've, I've already explained a lot of things about that individual. A lot of nightmares, a lot of bad dreams, a lot of energy. The, the nurses were sapping my energy out of my body, out of my soul. So those individuals, they are sent to you. And most of the cases, they, it, it, it starts with the gang stalking because they will know what level you are at, how much do you know, where are you going, how do you spend your days, where do you go to the gym, where do you have your coffee. And that is when exactly they're going to use those individuals. So the stalkers now, that's when they will know, okay, so this this way the individual, this way this particular person is going to the gym. So all of a sudden you'll be in the gym. If a person out there who is trying to heal, you know, you've just been in toxic situations, you're trying to heal. Somebody's going to show up in your gym. Oh, you know, I like you and, you know, I see you every day, you're coming around here. It's not by coincidence, <laughs> guys, let me tell you something. It's not by coincidence. Those guys, they're agents. You know what I mean? So all those gang stalkers and whatever, they're agents. They're agents of the devil. So they just try to follow you up and to try to sneak in with your life because they have to do whatever it is they can to make sure that they put you to sleep. They keep you where you've been. They put you back to sleep. If you're trying to wake up, they'll try to make you back, to sure that they put you back to sleep. So for me, I remember the narcissist, that greater narcissist. The great, the, great, the great analysis was gaslighting me straight away. I was telling her, but this is what I see. This is what I see. Look at it in front of you. No, no, it's not like that. You're seeing something different. It's like that. So I was always, I was straight away starting to see those kind of things that, ah, this person is a very evil person. You know what I mean? So all the things that I that, that I would see in front of me were real, were true. The great analysis would invalidate, would invalidate them straight away. So if you've been, if you've been dealing with those, those toxic individuals, chosen ones, you have got to understand those individuals, they never came to, they, they, they never came into your life by coincidence. In the early days of my channel, I did a video and I said that the narcissist knows who you are, you know. So those individuals on the physical level, they don't know what's going on. On the physical level, these are just bodies. They are just vessels. But on the spiritual level, those individuals, they have been guided towards your direction. So for some reason, somewhere, somehow, you're going to end up with them. It doesn't matter how much you try to protect. Unless you are aware. Now the difference comes to that point whereby you're now starting to get aware. You're aware of them, you know who they are, so you can identify them when you see them. That's when you can know that this, this individual has been sent by the devil. And you can always block them or just send them away, you know what I mean? So you can always protect yourself. But before when you're not aware, when you're not awakened, they have always been coming in like that. That's how, that's how they have been coming in their, your whole life. You end up in an employment place, a job place. You find somebody targeting you in the, in the workplace. Your own sisters are targeting you. Your own friends are targeting you. You are going everywhere. It looks as, as if, as a chosen one, you guys, you can testify. Your life hasn't been easy. If your life has been easy as a chosen one, then I'm not sure that you're a chosen one. If your life has been easy from the beginning and things have just been going on smoothly, I'm not very sure that you're a chosen one. A chosen one, you've, you've always been targeted ever since you were a kid because you are the guy of the light. You are the person going to bring this light to this planet. And you're the person of purpose. So you're, you've got the mission ahead of you. And that mission, normally, those entities, they do whatever it is they want, they can, to block you and to stop you from doing that, whatever it is you came here to do. Because, because, they, because they know you have been marked. You have got a mark on you. You have got a mark on you. And those people, they can see that mark. And they know who are those special people, anointed people of God. So they can identify that mark from afar. So the stalking... I wanted, to, I wanted to let you guys behind the scenes of where the stalking happens and where it starts and why is all this stalking going on. A lot of people have been talking about gang stalking, you know, people are there, people are gang stalking them. And I've given you guys uh, an example. A lot of you guys are on, who are online, social media pages and all this, Facebook, or Instagram, and things like that. One day I want you to go on your, page, on your pages. I'll, I'll give you something to look at. One day I want you to go on your pages. And I want you to... I wanted to start delete, deleting people. First of all, you, you look at the people who are on your pages and they are very idle people. They are, like they, are, they are in there, they are following you, but they never like your content, they never comment on your content. They are just like watching you from a distance, behind the scenes. I want you to go on your pages and start deleting people. You go there and delete people. You are going to see what is going to happen. If you delete 100 people, the very first person is going to send back a request. If you delete somebody and then you see the next 30 seconds or one minute or two minutes, they're sending you back a friend request. Those are your stalkers. Those are the guys that are, that are stalking you behind the scenes. They are online, they are stalking you. My case, I have a lot of them, but I can't be bothered. I have a lot of them and I think I know who they are. But normally I'm not bothered with those kind of entities because I know they're already low vibrational and they're just, they're just wasting their own time. 
So a lot of you guys, gang stalkers, they're everywhere. They're stalking you because you're chosen one. You're a chosen person of God. You're chosen. Uh, you're chosen person of God, and the only thing is that they are trying to see, to make some moves to see because they will be seeing. The, the, the reason of the stalking is to watch your movements. So they are stalking you because they are watching your movements. They are watching where you're going from A to B. How do you spend your time? Because they need to know when to sneak in. And again, like I've said, when we're looking at the, all these kind of things. We have got to look at the spiritual perspective. You see, the spiritual perspective gives us a lot of answers, a lot of things, answers that we're looking for. We, have, we find them in spirituality. You find all these answers in spirituality because on the matrix level, you will never know the truth. If you cannot look behind the veil, guys, I can guarantee you this. If you don't have the chance and the opportunity to look behind the veil, you can never see what has always been going on in your life. It is until you get that awakening and you can now wear the spiritual glasses. So now you can identify who has always been around you, who has, who has always been feeding off your energy, who has always been stealing your soul, who has always been damaging you. You can see everything properly, everything clearly. And those guys are, it will be, it will be, you'll be surprised, guys. You'll be shocked. Those are the guys next to you. you. The person that has been destroying you for a very long period of time, years, guys, is going to be very shocking for you. Is the person next to you. He's your own mother. <laughs> it's going to be shocking. Your own mother has been stalking you ever since, ever since birth, ever since she was a kid. They have been stalking you. So that's why I told you that most of you guys, you're going to come, you're going to, come to that uh, second awakening, whereby you're going to start awakening, awakening to so many different things around you. And that's when you're going to know that it's time to take yourself out of situations, you know, because you're going to start to see the individuals and the people around you for who they are. You know what I mean? Some of them, they may even say, just run off, to, run off to unknown destinations. When they notice you have awakened, I actually need to do a video about this as well. Those guys, when they know that you have awakened, they're going to start running. They will run because those are the devils. There have been devils and demons in disguise. You have been eating with them. You have been sleeping with them. You have been drinking with them. They have been wearing your clothes. Those have been demons in disguise. When you awake, guys, I will guarantee you, they will start running. They are going to run. Because they know the chosen one has awakened and their bulbs have turned on. So it's like all of a sudden, all of it, all this time you have been living in the dark. You have been overshadowed in the dark. It's, it's like there's, there's this thing that has been like all over you. You know, it's like you cannot see everything. You cannot see in front of you. You've been walking with blinders. When you awaken, guys, the blinders fall down. The blinders fall off. And whoever is behind the other side of the of the stage, you can see everybody very quickly and very. So that's why you see a lot of them are going to run away. You guys have been wondering why your families. The very the very the very beginning you wake up. The very moment you wake up. Your families, they are going to run very far away from you. They are going to run. <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to do a video about this, guys. You will be surprised. Your families are going to run away from you. Because whenever they see you, they are seeing light. They are just looking at you. And on, Yes, on a physical level, you guys have got to understand how the spiritual realm operates. On the physical level, yes. They're your family. You can see your mother. You know them from birth and this and that. But on the spiritual level, those guys, they are seeing light. And because they are full of darkness, that light is shining very deep into their souls and they cannot, be, they cannot afford to be caught somehow. They cannot afford. So what they do when you're waking up, you put your spiritual, you put your spiritual glasses on and you can see all those entities, demons for who they are. They are going to run. You're going to see your brothers running. Your brothers are going to run very far away from you. Your mothers are going to stay very far away from you because they know that you're awake. On the spiritual dimension, they know you're awake. And you can see through them. So all those are the people who have been a problem in your own, in your whole life, your entire life. They are, the, they are the guys who have been stalking you unconsciously and subconsciously. Again, I have got to state, these are things happening subconsciously. So most of those guys, they don't even know what they are doing. They just find themselves going on your social media pages. They're seeing what you're doing, why you're having your coffee, what are you doing. So they're, they're stalking you. They're following you. Sometimes they're following you in the streets. There could be people you know, there could be sometimes people you don't know, but they have always been following you. It's just because you are not aware of this, you couldn't see this. They have always been following you. They have been stalking you. So they call them gang stalkers because it is a team. It is a whole team of those demons. So they have a lot of network, they have a very big network. So when you get out of your house, it will be your neighbor. They'll be checking around, what is he doing? What is happening? Where is this person going? They'll even make pictures. <laughs> those, 
<laughs> those guys are ridiculous. They'll make pictures of you. They will go, and then you go to the, to the shops, to the supermarket. <laughs> you will you go to the supermarket. They will not use a different vessel who works in the supermarket. Because maybe sometimes the person you, the person who is talking you, they cannot take a certain destination, a certain shop, or maybe you're going to the dentist or things like that. So now they are going to use the person in that office. You guys have heard about cases whereby a lot of children are dying in the hospitals. You know, all of a sudden somebody goes to give birth. The kids die in the hospital out of, out of nowhere. Somebody dies. Some of you guys, when you were a kid, your parents struggled to give you birth to you. Your parents struggled because your parents were holding a child in their stomach. That child had a mark on them. And those entities, so they were doing anything, everything in their, in their power to make sure that they stopped the child from being born. So they were trying even to stop your own existence from birth. So it was a problem to give birth to you. Many of you guys chose ones. I've done a video about that, that as well. Your parents struggled giving birth to you. They were in hospitals. The, the doctors were running up and down. It's like somewhere, somehow, they, your, your, even your own mothers, they thought they would lose you in the hospitals. Even some kids have, have actually passed on in, their, in, in those hospitals. Most of those kids, on the physical perspective, you see, it's a, it's a, you can think it's a complication. Ah, you know, it's a birth complication because this one was that, that one. Was. There's always excuses. Have you ever heard about an animal which is dying while giving birth? Have you ever heard about a goat or a cow? When they're giving birth, they die they, because they, they are, there's been complications in the birth or something. Sometimes they even do it themselves. A pig will push out 20 kids and it will get up and do whatever it is it wants to do. Though those animals, it is only people who die because the individual, the people, you guys, I want you to pay very close attention. This channel is just getting started, guys. I'm going to give you action-packed information of what is going on behind the veil. You're going to be surprised. So a lot of you guys have been thinking that those are, those are accidents in those hospitals. <laughs> Those are not accidents, my friends. Those are not accidents. Those are entities trying to take out of out of existence because you have got a light. So because they failed, that mission failed. Because remember, you guys are usually very very highly protected by the universe, by God. So what happens even when you're born? So what they do? Some of the parents, what they have done, they have just called the children and go and throw them on the on the. In Africa, we've seen those cases. So what the parents do? They give birth to those children. After struggling, first of all, to give birth to them, they will give birth to them. Then they'll go and drop them on the streets. Sometimes I've seen children, they have been dropped off at orphanages by their parents, and their parents have disappeared. And those children have been left alone to struggle. We have, in Africa, I don't know in other countries how is the, the situation, but we have had a lot of cases whereby parents have thrown off their, uh, their children on the streets. Babies on the streets. You will see babies on the streets in Africa. So those are entities, they're trying to stop your existence. There will be a lot of challenges going on with the chosen one's life. So the stalking is not usually uh, something you need to worry about, as long as you're aware about it. When you're aware of it, you can always know how to protect yourself. You will know who they are, because when they come around, you will know their intentions and everything. I've seen a lot of them. In my awakening journey, I've seen so many of them. They have come around, they have done this, they say this, they say, I know, when, when I see them straight away, I just know who they are. The very moment I see them straight away, I will know who they are. Even sometime before they start talking, I will know who they are. You know what I mean? So I'll know what, they, what they're all about. So this moment is very difficult to, to stalk somebody who is highly evolved because they will catch up on you. Straight away, they won't catch up on you. Gang stalking is a very common phenomenon for awakening individuals. So for the most of you guys who have been wondering what is going on, why are you being stalked? Why is somebody following you on social media? Why is somebody seems to do this? Why do you see somebody at your back? All of a sudden you get out of the house, somebody's uh, following you at the back, somebody's a car following you. Those are gang stalkers. So they're, they're, they're just the vessels, but the big stalkers are the, in, the entities. So those people are used by uh, entities to follow the chosen ones and to see where you're going, what is going on with you, what is your, uh, which direction are you going? Because they want to know when to come in. You know what I mean? Because they need to know to catch you at your weakest point so that they can come in and put down your light or maybe put back, put you back to sleep, which is almost next to impossible. The chosen one who has awakened to their true authenticity. The chosen one that has awakened to their true authenticity. You can never put those individuals back to sleep. You will, you will struggle with that. So guys, 
Um, let me know what uh, you think about this you know, in the comment section below. Give me your views about gang stalking. What, what has been your experience? And leave us a comment in the, uh, down there below. Book a session if you want to support this channel if you want to and donate. I'll get back in touch with you. Much love and blessings. Peace. This was it.